to win that tie. Tweet me and let us have that conversation. But for now, we will shift gears a little bit and talk about boxing in the country. I know Madonga was here and everybody was all jovial and talking about Madonga and what he brought in the fight night that we had here in the country. So sad that he uh, kind of lost that tie. But all in all, in the quest to build boxing here in the country, a lot of stakeholders are saying that we still have to do more. We still have to support our boxers even more. Are they being given what they deserve? Can we do more? Can the government do more? Questions that maybe one of the best professional boxers we have in the country, Rayton Okwiri, will help me dissect. Okwiri ni ambiba na. Bari ya madeiz. Sijuka unakumbuka 2014, yon ilikuwa the first time tulikana noe chini tukafanya interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na yon time by the way, ulikuwa nalia vibaa sana. Yeah, yon time jingu tumetuka kumunwa the game in Scotland. Yeah. Tell me, umekuwa vipi the last few days after fight yako na ule jama wa Tanzania? Shabani. Ilikuwa vipi na umekuwa vipi kufikia hivi sasa? So far, nime resume tizi hii wiki. Nikuwa nime chukua break dogo ya kumuzisha mwili. Parasia nime resume tizi. Na natarajia by mwezu jau nafikiri tutakuwa na fight. But details, more details nafikiri tuta management wataongea mm -hmm. yeah talking of management uh, mm -hmm. the last uh, few days at least umekuwa na some positive developments when we think about Reton Okwiri na career yake na development yake mm -hmm. imekuwa vipi kwa sababu for the first time i think you're having uh, an organized to say team yenye watakuwa na majukumu fulani fulani mm -hmm. ya kuhakikisha tu Okwiri aende tu kupigana tu cause uh, mm -hmm. kuna fight ama kuna nini mm -hmm. maandalizi mm -hmm. na ma, uh, preparation pale kila kitu mmesema this time round mm -hmm. mnafahamu kwa na Uh, kitu solid debu tuambie kuhusu uh, those developments yeah <coughs> unajua kitina kitina ina inakosea sana maboksa wengi Kenya ni kukosa mm -hmm. good management mm -hmm. maboksa wako na maboksa wako wako tayari kujitolea lakini good management inakosekana ndio bado unapata uh, ni time professional 2017 lakini ukiangalia ni kuna less fights ni sahi ni kuna 11 fights nafikiri mm -hmm. all of them mm -hmm. But uh, kama ningekuwa na good management sasa ningekuwa nachezea maybe 20 fights huko ama 25 fights maana yake ningekuwa napata fights kila mara mm -hmm. now that nimepata good management nimepata uh, sponsorship nafikiri sasa nitakuwa napata nitakuwa nacheza nini kila mara mm -hmm. sitakuwa tunacheza kama uh, hapo nyuma hapo nitakuwa na kwa chama game game, game mbili kwa mwaka mzima ama game moja mm -hmm. yeah, so nafikiri kila kitu itakuwa poa ni nini inachangia pengine uh, some of these times unasema uh, i'm party games mob uh, ni, ni management uh, uh, kutowajibika sana ama ni boxer kutokuwa na zile connection fiti fiti ama inakuwa vipi ni management na kosa sponsorship mm -hmm. Unajua ukiwa na management mzuri utapata sponsorship na sponsorship ndio inafanya fights na happen. Mm -hmm. So bila bila sponsorship hakuna fights ni happen hapa Kenya. So kwa sahi nasema so far so good. Mm -hmm. Na nasema sahi hivi yako kazi yangu sahi ni kazi yangu ni ku train tu sahi. Kila kitu naacha management sahi. Mm -hmm. Ufanye kazi yao na mimi nifanye kazi yangu kwa gym. Twende kwa hii fight yenye ulipigana juzi. Mm -hmm. eh, ukapata kushinda hiyo game. Nilikuwa hapo hivyo nimekaa na wachio game but hiyo game ilikuwa boring. Sana sana. Ilikuwa boring 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 boring. Ulikuwa na jaribu kusukumata ule opponent kidogo tu hivi but it was one of the boring uh, games yeye ilikuwa on the cards that night. Yeah. Um, unajua ule jamaa sijui nini nini happen eh. Do every time nilikuwa nikitaka nikitaka ku step in ananishika. Mm -hmm. Na unajua kulingana kulingana na rules za um, rules za boxing mm -hmm. boxer akiklinch aki sana inafaa either ku disqualified ama katwe points mm -hmm. of which the referee akufanya kitu yote kusi mm -hmm. manake ukiangalia vizuri sana huyu jamaa alianza kunishika kuanzia round 1 na jaribu hata kujitoa wapi mpaka mm -hmm. mwisho unaona alinipiga head nikapata cut mm -hmm. so of which uh, naweza sema KPB the Kenya Professional Boxing Commission and waangalie pia kwa majudges na marefari maybe when they refresh our courses mm -hmm. ndio at least wajue ni kitu gani inafanyika manake there is no way kwanza round ya pili mtu anakushika kwanza round ya pili mpaka round ya nane mm. referee hata hajakata points mtio yote ule mm. unaona mm. so game plan ilikataa but yote tisa kuna shukuru Mungu kwamba tulipata ushindi mm -hmm. yeah uh, let's listen in to actually Okwiri after that game because uh, reaction ya Okwiri after amepigana na uh, the Tanzanian uh, for him he was like uh, yes i know we had a game plan but the game plan was not uh, well actually orchestrated Uh, this is a query reaction after the fight night that we are talking about. So there is a plenty, plenty of conversation about uh, that. Uh, let's listen in actually what uh, Okwiri had to say in regards to that.
vile tulikuwa tumepanga nafikiri haikuwa venye kwa eh, haikuwa haikuingiana maana yake unajua eh, nafikiri eh, opponent wangu alisoma game yangu akijua kibox na mimi eh, naweza mshinda so every time nilikuwa najaribu kuingia and unhold kuanzia round 2 na pia unajua referee sijui kama alikuwa fair maana yake ama mimi ndio nilikuwa na feel peke yangu maana yake kuanzia round 2 Jamaa alikuwa ananishika na nipiga mahedi lakini jamaa haoni mpaka kanipiga hedi nikaanza nikapata kati serious round 6 so ile ninasema na shukrumu kwanza kwa ushindi maana yake ushindi ni muhimu kwanza but uh, kwa upande wa referee na tunamefurahia kwa ushindi wake although pia kulikuwa na challenge tunashindwa kwa nini referee alikuwa na favor ana favor opponent wa kweli mtu anashika anamvuruta na referee anaona hiyo kitu na aweze kumuonya ama aweze kumuonya opponent wake preparation yake ya fight okay uh, pengine uh, these are some of the things that was in happen kwa fight do you plan for some of this uh, kind of scenarios kwa kwa, kwa fight pengine ukajua vile unaweza change tack ama vipi vipi because msaki ku grab hivyo unajua it's uh, tricky kwa kwanza unajua hiyo game ya tarehe 14 uh, mm telefotini o hiyo hiyo tulipiga ina january mm. mimi siku mimi sikuwa niko kwa hiyo game mm. nilikuwa na game nilikuwa ni nde nilikuwa uganda so kwa training camp for the two months uh, we have been focusing ku, ku, ku fight na mtu tofauti mtu tofauti mtu ni south po mtu mfupi kwa nishinda mimi mm. so in one week unaambiwa na unaacheza na mtu ako na 6.1 height mm. so ni mtu mrefu zaidi mm. so unapata for two months i've been training niki move away yeah. now that sasa unapata in one week nafa ni change, ni change. game plan ianze ku, ku attack yeah. of which unajua yeah. game plan ya mtu mrefu lazima tu attack huwezi yeah. kwa una una tvea na una, kwa mtu mrefu yeah. yeah so hiyo ndio challenge ambayo ile lakini tunashukuru tu Mungu tulishinda maana yake haikuwa game plan yetu hiyo hiyo haikuwa game plan yetu unajua mm-hmm. kila boxer ako na game plan yake mm-hmm. si vinye mimi nacheza si vinye unacheza mm-hmm. so tuko tuna game plan tuko game plan yetu tuko tunasema tuna, tuna, tuna na trainee tupigane na Kasim Omar. Mm. Now KPBC wakasema wana kunipatia fights in one week one week uh, one week notice wakanambia mm. hey tunakuletea boxer kutoka Tanzania mm. boxer ni kimangalia boxer alikuwa mrefu nikamwambia it's okay. Mm. Yeah. At least we'll talk later. Let's talk about Uganda by the mm. way. Scenarios kama hizi boxers mmejiandaa, mmeprepare kila kitu. Mm. Mnafaa kwenda kupigana na mtu alafu kidogo pap ina, ina so sijui pro, pro, promoter ajafanya management ajafanya nini 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 is it to zina happen sana zina, kwanza in africa zina happen sana especially east africa na east africa kuna kuna hii kasumba kasumba fulani ambao watu some more, i mean most of the promoters mm-hmm. wako na tabia kwamba wachezaji wakishacheza wanakimbia wanaingia mitini au hawataki mm-hmm. kulipa unaona kama mimi eh, kama sahi kwa mfano Tanzania mm-hmm. Kuna kuna promoter fulani alinitoa America nikaenda nikafight huko nini mpaka sasa hiyo hajanilipa laki zangu tatu aliingia mitini mpaka leo mm-hmm. so hiyo ni tabia ambayo imekuwa sana East Africa mm-hmm. wako tu promoter anaweka fight msha fight tu hivi after tu fight after fight hivi wote naingia mitini so Uganda ile kitu ilifanya hatuku fight mm-hmm. we demanded the uh, walipe kwanza ndio tuingie kwa ring mm-hmm. so after hapo hiyo kunegoyo hiyo kwanza hiyo ku, kunini kubishana hiyo ni mvuedi ilianza so ikaribu fight mm-hmm. but um, kulingana na contract game ya Uganda tulikuwa nimesema uh, contract ile nimesema lazima nilipe kwanza ndio ni ndio ni fight mm-hmm. yeah wacha tuongee juu ya kariya yako ya boxing even before we could turn pro mm-hmm. unasema safari yako imekuwa vipi mpaka saa hizi vile umefika hapa mimi nasema safari, safari yangu imekuwa successful sana safari yangu ilianza 2003 huko Mombasa ndio nilianza boxing yangu mm-hmm. nikiwa shule na um, 2006 nikajiunga katika idara ya magereza mm-hmm. prisons mm-hmm. ambapo nafanya kazi hivi sasa huko waliponiajiri na hapo nafikiri ndo nili niliingia national team niliingia national team already Niki, nikiandikwa na, 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 na prisons nilikuwa national team ya under 20 mm-hmm. of, of which 2006 nilichezea under 20 nikazaa kushindia gold mm-hmm. yeah na umekuwa na uka, uka turn pro umecheza olympics umecheza world championship tu ndio kitu yenye so mi kwa, katika record yangu mimi nimeenda kwa amateur nimecheza world championship nimecheza commonwealth games mm-hmm. nimecheza all african games african uh, olympic qualifier nikashinda gold mm-hmm. all african games nikashinda bronze ambayo ilikuwa mozambique mm-hmm. so katika nini yangu yote na nilitan pro mm-hmm. nimekuwa nime, nime, nime bingwa africa ni abu mm-hmm. african boxing union mm-hmm. so middleweight yeah, mm. kwa hivyo katika collection yangu mimi ile kitu mimi sina ni world title 
of which uh, with the new management sahi, and, uh, and, and the sponsorship from Phoenix Casino na fikiri mkanda utakuja Kenya manake uh, boxing ni, ni 2014 ni one of the best boxers in the world katika APB mm -hmm. so na fikiri bado niko vile vile na na fikiri with the support of Phoenix Casino and the new management mm -hmm nafikiri nitaleta mkanda dunia ni nini Phoenix Casino sasa kwa zao mengi nao kwa kandarasi na uko nao na management what do they bring on the table yenye at least itafanya wewe kama mchezaji useme najua vitu zinaenda kwa tu safi from here uh, for example sasa hivi najua Phoenix Casino najua ni venye naishi venye nakula venye na train um, venye na, na niko na masafari mpate wale watu na train nao hmm. Phoenix Casino ina inasemea kila kitu so Sasa inasema ni kila kitu nimenipata nimepata full support. Sasa ni kujitolea tu mm -hmm. na kuleta mkanda nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now let me take you back to 2014. Uh, in 2014 I know I was uh, very fresh in the newsroom and that is the first time I had a sit down with Rayton Okwiri and for that particular time I know it was not the happiest because of uh, the kind of scenario that we had in the country regards to boxing. At that time we were saying that boxing was almost dead if not a dead. Okwiri I don't know if you remember this but this I filed this report actually in 2014, just a bit uh, of it. Even Kenyan star Eton Okwiri, who kicked off his chest for the 2016 Rio Olympic ticket in a school. Controversy off the ring gives others a platform to question the driving factor that places Kenyan boxers in competitions against opponents who enjoy wide exposure and experience. 2014, it was not the easiest, it was not the best of a moment. Okwiri, your time, umeenda nje kuwakilisha country, lakini uko tuna coach. I remember your time uliko na lamento na sema, hata tu vilu uliko na vatu, umevao ume kai, unakatu ni jama fulani ya menda kupigana tu vitu zake pale mtani. Yeah, yeah. Um, game mingi sana mizi zile tumenda national team, unapata, atuko tunasapotiwa kabisa. Unapata tukira game, tunajiku tuna makochi peke yake. Ovichi kunapata hizi teams ngini kama kama huyu jamani nilimpiga knockout huyo Marcos Nadar alikuwa alikuwa professional alikuwa na almost 19 fights zero mm -hmm. bila kupita so nilimpiga knockout round ya pili mm -hmm. na unapata vinyali alikuja game huko alikuja na watu wao wengi mm -hmm. sisi tulienda tu tulijikuta na makochi peke yake mm -hmm. so unapata pale ile support peke yake inampatia hata morale na yeye ana feel ana feel ile nini mm -hmm. eh, ana feel kwamba atashinda tu mm -hmm. unaona inampatia morale of which sisi tuko tuna makochi wawili hiyo game ndio tuliona na makochi wawili but tulishinda ndio lakini unajua sipo anafikiri gava inafaa pia mtu akina kwa mafights ngumu kama hizo at least wanapatia uh, tunaenda na watu kadhaa ambao at least tunakuwa na ila kani team Kenya yeah, team na, Kenya kidogo tunawakilisha Kenya yeah, kimpango yeah, yeah. tunawakilisha Kenya kimpango not kwa natupe yako so ime change size ya mabadi ya change vitu ziko tu hivyo ama vitu ziko vile vile siwezi kudanganya unless kama sasa hii when you go Uganda, Phoenix Casino will step in. Mm -hmm. watu, watu kumi. They paid everything. Mm -hmm. uh, flights, na accommodation, na kila kitu. Mm -hmm. So, sema, Phoenix Casino imefanya, at least ime, imefanya kitu mm -hmm. kwa kari yangu. So, uh, I think uh, maybe, uh, I know the government uh, stakeholders actually are, 